The man accused of trying to kill Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords entered a plea of not guilty today. Witnesses say Jared Loeffner was smiling as he walked into the federal courthouse in Phoenix today. His attorney told the judge that she is not raising the issue of Loeffner's mental status at this time. Again, this is the federal charge against him. He first faces those federal charges of trying to assassinate the congresswoman and attempting to murder two of her aides. State charges could be forthcoming as well. Barry Sorrells is a criminal defense attorney here in Dallas. All right, uh, Barry, tell us, is there any reason to think that they're not going to bring up an insanity to defense at some point in this case? No, that's the only option that the defense is going to have uh, in this case on guilt or innocence or on punishment is the insanity defense. There's no other defense that can be of any value to saving this young man's life and so that he doesn't receive the death penalty. Right, and you said that's something that's important. You say going innocent in the case may be tough based on some of his planning stuff, but trying to dodge a death penalty could be really key with an insanity defense, yes? Yeah, both the prosecution and the defense right now are thinking about two things. One, the state, the government's thinking, can we prove it beyond a reasonable doubt? The defense is thinking, would an insanity defense work at guilt or innocence? The government's thinking also, if we win a conviction, can we secure the death penalty? The defense is thinking, if they win a conviction, can we uh, use insanity as a mitigating factor to convince the jury not to return a death sentence, but instead return a sentence of life in the penitentiary? One's trying to figure out if they can secure the death penalty. The defense is trying to figure out, can they save this, uh, this defendant's life? You're a former prosecutor, right? Correct. If you were trying this case and the defense attorney said, we will plead guilty if you take death penalty off the table, would you take that? Uh, if, if the prosecution came up and said, in return for a life sentence, we will forego our right to pursue death, mm -hmm. would I take no, as, the offer? You, well, I think a defense attorney would. Would you, as a, prose, as a former prosecutor, would you make that deal with a high-profile case? Well, it depends. Uh, in answer to your question, I don't mean to be evasive, but it okay. depends on the evidence. It depends upon the facts. And right mm -hmm. now, both sides are doing everything they can to find out as much about the facts of this case and this uh, gotcha. defendant as possible. I understand. I'm sorry to make you wear both hats because uh, you're a defense attorney and you've been a prosecutor. <laughs> I like wearing both hats. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's, let's say he does plead and uses insanity as a defense. Does that effect because we're talking about the federal charges that are playing out first and then state charges too how does a, a, you know an insanity plea in a federal court affect state charges well once you make a decision that that's a defense uh, which I expect the decision to be in this case and you assert that in the federal system depending upon how things turn out there you end up being prosecuted in the state system uh, you know you're going to be consistent in your defense and you're going to stick with that insanity defense you're not going to try and to take a shotgun approach and ride more than one horse you're going to be consistent it's going to be insanity it's going to be asserted in the federal system or the state system uh, both. Gotcha. That, that's it. We, uh, it's a little time. Based on what you know about the case, we know sometimes insanity defense is thought of as a ploy. Do you think it's a ploy in this case, or do you think from what you know it's pretty solid defense right now? Well, it seems to me just from what's out in the court of public right. opinion and the information we have that there's a basis of an insanity defense just in his weird behavior, the defendant in this case, that we know about, like on YouTube and stuff right. like that. But if it were me, I would be thinking that's going to be the most, the most important part of an insanity defense is going to be at punishment, saving his life, because it's very difficult to prove legal insanity. Right. They have to prove that he did not know what he did was wrong, plus that he suffered from mental, uh, severe mental illness. Two things, not just one. Gotcha. Okay, Barry Sorrells, thank you for being here tonight. Thanks thank so you. Okay.